2021 Ducati Monster First Look A New Breed of Monster Ducati revealed a new monster with a 937 cubic centimeters engine, modern electronics and, in a departure from the line's history, replaced the traditional steel trellis frame with an aluminum alloy frame. The new model will simply be called the Monster with no displacement numbering, and it replaces both the air-cooled Monster 797 and liquid-cooled Monster 821 in Ducati's lineup. The Monster 1200 and 1200 S will return for 2021 as the only holdover from the previous generation. Like the 1200, the new Monster is liquid-cooled, meaning there will no longer be any air-cooled monsters in Ducati's lineup. The switch away from the steel trellis may be a bit of a shock to some purists, but in retrospect, the move is not a complete surprise. The trellis frames in the 821 and 1200 monsters were noticeably smaller than in previous generations, mounting only to the engine heads. In this respect, the new Pawnee Gale V4 derived aluminum front frame is similar, with the added benefit of weighing 10 pounds less than the Monster 821S frame. Further contributing to weight reduction is a new glass fiber reinforced polymer subframe and a new double sided aluminum swing garm design that resembles the unit on the Multi Strata V4. According to Ducati, the new monster has a claimed curb weight of 414 pounds, about 40 pounds lighter than the Monster 821. With the new frame, Ducati had to reposition some components such as the radiator. This allowed the Monster to offer a 36 degrees steering angle, 7 degrees more than the Monster 821, lock to lock. Combined with a slightly shorter wheelbase, the new Monster should be more agile than the 821. The new Monster is powered by Ducati's liquid cooled 937 cubic centimeters Teste Treta 11 degrees V twin engine with four desmodromic valves per cylinder. The Euro 5 Compiant engine is similar to the one powering the Supersport 950, claiming 111 HP at 9,250 RPM and 69 LBFT at 6,500 RPM. Those numbers are higher than the Monster 821S claimed 109 HP at 9,250 RPM and 63 LBFT at 7,750 RPM but Ducati claims there's a 20% improvement in torque at 6,000 rpm. Ducati also says the engine requires oil services at every 9,000 miles while valve inspections are needed every 18,000 miles. Ducati equipped the new Monster with an assist and slipper wet clutch, claiming a 20% lighter pull than the previous clutch design. An up and down quick shifter comes standard. The electronics package includes cornering ABS, traction control, launch control, and wheelie control. The Monster offers three selectable ride modes, sport, touring and urban. Each mode adjusts the throttle response, traction control, ABS, and wheelie control systems to suit the different riding styles. The suspension system appears similar to the Monster 821S setup with a 43mm inverted fork with 5.1 inches of travel and a preload adjustable rear shock offering 5.5 inches of travel. Twin Brembo M432 radial mount 4-piston monoblock calipers are matched with 320mm discs up front while the rear wheel uses a 245mm disc and 2-piston caliper. Both clutch and brake levers are adjustable. The Monster is equipped with an egg-shaped daytime running light that surrounds the main LED headlight. Ducati introduces a novel design for the turn signals, shaping them in line with the bodywork. The indicators light up in a swiping pattern, flowing outwards toward their respective directions. The signals are also self-canceling, a convenient feature that really should be more commonplace. Compared to the 821, the new Monster's handlebars are 2.8 inches closer to the rider for a more upright riding position. The foot pegs are positioned 0.4 inches lower and 1.4 inches farther back for a slightly less cramped leg position. The seat has a new shape and uses an exclusive foam material Ducati claims is more comfortable than the previous saddle. The standard seat height is 32.3 inches, but Ducati offers an accessory lower seat at 31.5 inches as well as a suspension lowering kit that further reduces the height to 30.5 inches. 
the 2021 Ducati Monster will be available in three color ways, Ducati Red with black wheels, Aviator Grey with red wheels, and Dark Stealth with black wheels. Ducati will also offer a selection of sticker kits for further customizing the monster's look. There's also a Monster Plus version that adds a flyscreen and passenger tail cover. US pricing starts at $11,895 for the Monster, which is $100 less than what Ducati asked for the Monster 821. The Monster Plus will set you back $12,195.